Welcome. In this lesson, uh, we will be discussing uh, organic chemistry one. As you know, uh, organic chemistry one is uh, a branch of chemistry that uh, deals with the study of uh, organic compounds. Now, in this lesson, you are supposed to know uh, hydrocarbons. Now, a hydrocarbon is a group of compounds that contains uh, carbon and hydrogen only. Mainly, we have uh, two types of hydrocarbons. One, uh, saturated and uh, unsaturated hydrocarbons. Saturated hydrocarbons, these are group of hydrocarbons that have at least a single covalent bond in between two adjacent carbon atoms. While unsaturated, they have either a double or a triple covalent bond in between two adjacent carbon atoms. Now, under saturated, we have a group of hydrocarbons called alkanes. So, under alkanes, you are supposed to know the general formula, a nomenclature, isomerism, a preparation, and finally, a properties. So, let us begin with uh, what alkanes are. So, alkanes are a group of uh, saturated hydrocarbons that have at least a single covalent bond in between two adjacent carbon atoms. So the general formula is uh, CN uh, H2N uh, plus 2. So whenever you see this general formula, then you are supposed to know that this is the uh, general, this is uh, illustrates uh, alkanes, where N is the number of uh, carbon atoms. Now, how are alkanes named? So when we are naming now, it depends on the number of carbon atoms that we have. If the number of carbon atom is one, is different from when it is two, and so on. So usually we use uh, uh, pre these prefixes indicating the indicating the number of uh, carbon atoms. So when the number of carbon atom is one, the prefix becomes med. When the number of carbon atom is two, ed, and so on. So when the number of carbon atom is 10, the prefix becomes dec. So if you want to name that alkane, that is an alkane that has a number of carbon atom one, then the name becomes med, stands for one. So the name becomes now you join or you add suffix n there. Ed, it becomes ed then. Prop, that is an alkane that has uh, three carbon atoms. Therefore, the name becomes propane. Uh, butane. Pent is uh, 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 an alkane that has five carbon atoms. So the name becomes pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonane, nonane, that is nonane. And then finally we have decane. So these are now the, uh, the, the first 10 groups of uh, alkanes. Now once you have known that, then you should know how to write the molecular formula the open structural formula and the condensed formula. So I want us to use now, I want us to use uh, these two hydrocarbons to name or to write the molecular formula, the open structural formula, and the condensed formula. As you know that at then, at then it means the number of carbon atom is uh, two. The number of carbon atom is two. And you know that the general formula of an alkane is CN H2N plus two. Therefore, the molecular formula becomes what? The molecular formula becomes carbon, which is two. The number of hydrogens now will be, the value of N is two. Therefore, the number of hydrogen becomes two times two, that is four, plus two. Therefore, here you will have uh, H6. So the molecular formula becomes C2 H6. Now, how do you draw the open structural formula? You draw two carbon atoms here. You draw two carbon atoms. In between, you have a bond that is a covalent bond, and then you complete the bonds. Remember, carbon has or forms four, val or it has four valence electrons. Therefore, here now you distribute the number of hydrogen atoms. So here, hydrogen, hydrogen there, hydrogen here, hydrogen, until you have the six atoms of hydrogen. Now, if you want to write the condensed formula. Condensed formula means you take this carbon is attached to how many hydrogen atoms? It is attached to three hydrogen atoms. 
And then the other carbon atom is attached to how many hydrogen atoms? It is attached to uh, three hydrogen atoms. Therefore, the condensed formula uh, becomes uh, CH3, uh, CH3. Now, let us go to pen 10. Let us go to pen 10. Now, pen 10, pent means five. Pent means uh, five. Therefore, the molecular formula uh, becomes, that is the number of carbon atom becomes five. Therefore, it will be C5, H, it will be five times two plus two, that gives you uh, C5, H12. So let us draw the open structural formula. So you draw five carbon atoms there. That is three, four, five. So here, you do the catenation, you join the bonds here. Then you distribute the number of hydrogen atoms here. You have 12 hydrogen, the hydrogen, hydrogen here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen there, hydrogen there, hydrogen here, hydrogen there. So that's another open structural uh, formula. Now condensed formula will become uh, CH3, uh, CH2. So how many times do you have CH2 here? So CH2 here appears three times. That is one, two, three. Therefore here you say CH2 uh, three times here. And then finally you will have CH3. So if you open this structure, you will get, that is the first carbon atom. Here you have three carbon atoms, four, and then finally five. So that is how uh, nomenclature of alkanes are done. Now, next now we will go to how to name a branch alkane. A branched alkane, this is an alkane that has a branch. Uh, usually we have uh, branches or groups. We have an alkyl group or we have a halogen group. So let us consider and see whether this uh, uh, alkane is a branch. So this is a branch. So this is a branch. So how do you name? There are guidelines. The first guideline is you identify the parent name by counting the longest uh, continuous carbon chain. So here and there now you, num uh, you number the chain from the end of the branch. And then from there now, a number or position and a name is separated by hyphen, while positions are separated by a comma. So in an alkane, that's a branched alkane that contains uh, more than similar branches. You use di for two, uh, tri for three, tetra for four. If it contains different branches, then you name it alphabetically. So this is now one, uh, two, uh, three, four. So our parent name becomes uh, butane. Now this branch, where does it lie? It lies at carbon two. Therefore the name will be two methyl, two methyl butane, two methyl butane. So butane is the parent name, while two is the position of the branch, and the branch here is a uh, uh, methyl. Now the next example is, uh, uh, this branched alkane, which is CH3, CH2, CH, CH3, CH, CL, CH3. So let us count the parent name. So the parent name is one, uh, two there, three, uh, four, five. So this is not part of the chain. This is a branch. So this is a branch or a group, while this is a branch. So then from there now, where does the branch lie? So the branch lies, so the parent name will be pentane. So the branch one lies at uh, carbon three, another one lies at carbon four. So you have different branches here, methyl and chloro. So which one will come first? Alphabetically, chloro will come first. Therefore, the name will be four chloro hyphen. Uh, methyl lies at carbon three, three methyl pentane. Three methyl and 10. So that is how you name a branched alkane. Now, next, the next uh, concept is isomerism. Now, isomerism, this is the existence uh, of a compound uh, having same molecular formula but different structural formula, while isomers are compounds that have uh, same molecular formula but different structural formula. So in alkanes, they always exhibit a type of isomerism called a branched isomerism. Now, pentane. The first thing that you are supposed to know is uh, the molecular formula. So pentane molecular formula becomes C5H12. Uh, so the first isomer will be the structure of this. Therefore, you draw five carbon atoms there. Five 
five carbon atoms there. So here hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen there. Once you draw now, you name it. So the name here will become pentane. So if you want to draw an isomer of these, then what you need to do is that you modify this structure. So you remove this terminal carbon. So how many carbon atoms will you remain? So you'll remain four carbon atoms. Two, three, four there. So that is one. Uh, one, two, three. Now, the one that you have removed now will fit itself in the middle carbon chain. That is, this CH3 now will fit itself here. Then the remaining carbon, you now distribute hydrogen atoms there. So now this one now becomes a branched alkene. So how do you name it? So the name here becomes a, a two methyl. It will become two methyl butane. Two methyl butane. Still, you can uh, modify this structure such that you remove this uh, terminal carbon. So you'll remain three carbon atoms there. So here hydrogen, hydrogen there, hydrogen here. So here initially you had CH3. Now the CH3 that you have removed, you put it here. And the hydrogen that was here, you put it here. So that is now the structure. Therefore, how do you name this structure? The name now becomes, you have two similar branches here. Therefore, it will be 2,2-dimethyl, uh, dimethyl propane. The parent name is uh, propane. So that is now uh, how you do isomerism. Still, you can, do, you can see now the structures are different, but you will come to realize that the molecular formula is same. Now, next now we will go to preparation of uh, methane gas. So let us say here we are going to prepare methane gas, that is CH4 <laughs> gas. So if you want to prepare now, if you want to prepare methane gas, then it means now the reagent that you are going to use here will be sodium ethanoate, and the soda lime. So here you will have a mixture, mixture of uh, sodium ethanoate and uh, soda lime. And the soda lime. Soda lime is a mixture of calcium oxide and sodium hydroxide. We don't use sodium hydroxide alone because it is a delicacy. Therefore, calcium oxide is used with it because calcium oxide will act as a drying agent. So here now, we have a source of heat. Condition required here is a heat. Then this gas now that is formed, it is collected over a water method because the gas is slightly soluble in water. Now, how does this reaction occur? This is how the reaction occurs. So sodium ethanoate, the formula becomes CH3, COO, Na solid, plus in soda lime, we'll be using sodium hydroxide. Uh, that is a solid. This one now will give you methane, that is CH4, gas, plus sodium carbonate, which is uh, solid. Therefore, that equation is a self-balanced equation. So this gas that is collected is, I mean this gas that is formed is collected by over water method because it is slightly soluble in water. So learners, that is the end of our lesson. In the next lesson or the next videos, we'll be doing chemical properties of uh, alkanes. Make sure you follow us for more information. Thank you.